Okay, what do we need in our inventory here? Uh, Got a bunch see. of magnum Are, are we, are we in the underground? Let's see. I'll step outside and see if that gives us a clue. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, lovely little snakes. Alright. Underground storage room. According to Chris, don't you like that music? Oh yeah, I do remember him saying that last time. Oh, uh, let's see. Put away the bazooka rounds and combat knife. Da -da -da -da. Did you uh, get all the items that were around the room, like first aid spray and everything? Okay. Yeah, I believe I did. Once over, but yeah, looks like I did. Lee, yeah, you want to have the <coughs> hexagonal crank, the Colt Python, uh, and its ammo, and at the most three healings. You want to leave two spaces in the inventory. Oh yeah, I should put the ink ribbons up. In the hall, go to the other side real quick before the little snakes give you damage. Listen to Chris. <laughs> we follow his commands. As we've properly established, he's almost become a symbiotic attachment to us. Double doors or the doors at the other end? Oh, uh, let's see. Go in go into the door. It doesn't say double doors. Yeah, I think the double doors are where we fought the giant something or other, right? Probably. I just remember it was a giant something. I don't remember what it was. Uh, here's a novel angle. Spider, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. Alright, when you walk in here, you won't see the boulder yet. As soon as you get in, turn to her left and run down the hall. So to her left. Wait a minute, haven't we done the boulder already? There may be more than one. Oh, wait, her left. Go and check the elevator, but don't go in it. Uh, this is the elevator out of the underground. Cool. You still have some stuff to do. <laughs> okay. Thank you for wasting our time, Chris. So now go down the other side of the hall. When you get to the boulder, slowly walk up until you see the uh, hole for the hexagon crank. using it there? I've learned to ask before I do this. Uh, yes. You are going to use the hexagonal crank in the hole three times. So I'm assuming you don't want the rock to fall into that hole. You want to crank it one more time. Okay. Oh, they're actually making a bit of a puzzle out of it. So then you just uh, go to the boulder and then run into that hole that's now on the side of the wall before the boulder hits you. Okay. If the boulder smashes you, then start over. <laughs> well, obviously. If you didn't save, then you screwed up big time. Thanks, Chris. Always save when, always save when I tell you to. Thanks, okay, Chris. continue. All right. Yes, sir. 
Okay. When the boulder is done reading, when <laughs> when the boulder is done rolling, read on. <laughs> you know that didn't even phase me. That could have been something that he typed. When the boulder is done reading. <laughs> yeah. All right. So go up the hill to where the boulder was and get the ammo disc where the little hole is. Then get the piece of paper that you see was directly behind the boulder. Who just stores things behind boulders like this? I guess the artist of the underground map. Hello, Igor. Yes, it's a lot of green walls happening here tonight. Hey, Igor. All right. Look at the map for a while. No. No. Go in the door where you hid in the hole from the rolling boulder. All right. You have to get the statue to the light up tile on the floor. Oh, this again? The same yeah. thing, basically so the same the thing that we did in the library. Well, except hopefully it won't take us half an hour to figure it out. Right, yeah, because he's actually speaking in English today. Yeah. So just this, there's that little light, that little lighter square there yes. to her left. Guess I can get behind this thing. So I can... you get around it somehow? Yeah, so far, no. In lieu of a pull command, I'm not sure. Is there a lip somewhere? It looked like it might have been one, but it isn't. Mm. Has he perhaps once again neglected a very key point of this puzzle? Because we should be smart enough by now? That's well, all he says is get it through the hexagonal part of the floor. I mean, it just looks like a regular box room. Hmm. Yeah, might as well just keep pushing. I mean, you can always just go out the door and come back in. But right. Might as well just keep pushing around and see what you find. I'll try it this way then. Yeah, I mean, it's a Capcom puzzle. How hard can it be? <laughs> if it was truly a Capcom puzzle, there'd be some disappearing, disappearing blocks happening. No, nothing back there. Mm. Well, yeah, we get it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what this is here. Are we supposed to use the crank here? Let me go ahead. And, uh, yeah, after you put the statue on. Oh, after you put the statue. Yeah. So I'm guessing something horrible will happen if you do it before the statue's on. I'm assuming that. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's wrong. Right, right, something horrible like Chris might actually start making sense to our brains. Pushing it into this corner yet, so against logic. Let's give it a try. Is she gonna go? No, she's not. Hmm. Get it back into it. See what happens. Let's see what happens. You want to hit a save point first? <laughs> uh, can't even use it. You can't use the uh, emulator save point? Uh, oh no, I couldn't use the crank. So you couldn't, oh. you can't use it here. 
Unless that was just uh, displaced. Yeah, I'll go ahead and come to the dark side and use a city of state. Even the uh, even the game is like, ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. She's looking have at to it, get which this. means that if there's anything to use there, this is where I knew it. I knew it. I knew he left something out. Oh shit, no, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he says line it up with the light it, light it up tile on the floor and then use the crank and the thing will push out the statue. Uh, See, this is where I should read the full paragraph first. Okay, well, for the first and maybe only time, I'm sorry, Chris. That was my fault, Chris. I was not true to your words. I didn't respect your gospel. Yeah, no, we can't blame him. That's pretty much the entire paragraph, so... So you gotta love the realism of a game where you can't just pull a statue. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling doesn't exist in this world. Only forward movements. <laughs> Makes you wonder how they get their pants on. Son of Doom. Alright, I guess that's all we're doing in here. Yep. Alright, so... Go back out into the room that led you into the boulder room and run down the hall real quick before they bite you. You want to go back into the storage room. Okay. So once you get back out into the hall, it's not the double doors, it's the other end. be falling from above if there's no trees. Special brick gripping snakes. <laughs> Alright, we're back here. What are we depositing? Alright, so put away the ammo disc. Only make space by putting away all healings. You want to get the doom the two you want to get both doom books out of storage. Go to your item screen. Thank you, Chris. We know how to do that. Do we need the crank again? You need to do... Hang on. He says check the Doom books, which is click on the books and click check. Move the books so that when the pages of the Doom book are facing you, not the spine or the covers, face the pages to you. All right, I'll bite. Okay. Okay, and then check the other one. Okay, so check it, move the book oh, so I where see. the pages of the book are facing you. I see what it's doing. Yeah. So you do that to both books and you'll get the metal? There's another metal in the other one. Kind of figured. And then you can put the books away, but you want to keep the medals. Well, I have no books anymore, so I guess, uh, I guess it all Oh, they went away? Okay, so what you're going to want are 
the two metals, the python, the ammo, two and only two healings. Very well. So you want at least two spaces open? Once again, this far in the game, it has to remind us that you can save your progress with this. Well, you know, we, we might be done. <laughs> Obviously, right. we'd have to be if we're continuing to use this walkthrough. <laughs> hey, we've gotten this far. Somehow. <laughs> okay, two healing items, two medals, two spaces open, guns and bullets. Let's see what right. the adventure has to show us now. So you want to go back to the boulder room? I really don't, but I will. Don't forget to run so you don't hit the snakes. Oh, right. oh. There's very little delay tonight, only about four or five seconds. Okay. So this time you want to hang left to where the elevator is. Are we just looking at it again? No, we're actually going to go up, up the elevator. <laughs> All right. We, when you get in here, check out the door that first draws your attention. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> that door will never be used by you, so don't bother to try to open it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so go to the pool and get the green herbs. Don't get the blue herbs, you don't need them, according to Chris. I've got a bad feeling about the inventory management that's about to happen, but I'm just going to go ahead and ride it out. Uh, he's telling you to go ahead and get both and then mix them so you'll have one space left, so you're doing good. Okay, so mix them. Alright. Alright. So then you want to go towards the pool and check the walls of the pool that is sticking up. The walls that is sticking up. And those oh, are where you're going to put the metals. The well, no, it's not a fountain at all, is it? Put them in the right area and watch it. Okay, so just put the wolf on the wolf and the eagle on the eagle. I'm sure you can figure that out. So go down there and welcome to stage five. Welcome to the laboratory. This is where most of the experiments are taking place. It is a main place in the game. It is the laboratory. Just follow my directions and you will be fine and dandy. This is also the scariest part. Okay. I hope you brought a change of undergarments. Walk around the orange thing that says XDRB1. Go around it until you see the double doors. Check it out, but do not open them. You will need these doors at the end of the game. 
he doesn't want to spoil it for us. Okay. She says there's... Okay. Do you read what it says on the plate? I said just check them out. I thought he meant... Apparently when he them. says check, that means you actually go and check. Because I don't, I don't know, sometimes plot things can't happen unless you actually read something. Yeah, that makes sense. That triggers. Go to it and read. What does that mean? <laughs> you will find out later when there is a first class emergency if you don't already know what it is. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> All right, so go go find the ladder near the orange thing and go down it. Oh, God, where is it? I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, I found it, Chris. Welcome to the storage room with no music or typewriter. He says that as though it's the most depressing place for him to ever be. Well, I guess it is. He's always making a big deal about the music in the storage rooms. Well, that's right. I remember they said that there were less save states, so... As, as you get later into the game. Mm. Alright, so make sure you have the shotgun with ammo. Right, and no more than three. Our, um, cold python? Yeah, for now. And no more than three healings. Alrighty. You want two spaces open. So we're good on that. Shotgun shells, three healing. Three spaces open. And I should have grabbed some pink ribbons so that I could save while we're here. Real quick. Oh, we have no typewriter in here, do we? Nope. Put him back on. Game fooled me. Okay, now what? Alright. You can, um, you should get another healing if you want. Excuse well, me, good. you only need two spaces open. Oh, only two. Well, since right. it's the scariest part of the game, I guess I will. Then you want to go into the door opposite the ladder. says this, as you walk in, kill the zombie that you see walking to eat you alive. He's trying out his fan fiction. Stops. Yep. Alright, so go down around the hall. Don't pick up the herbs that you see yet. Okay. Are we going down the stairs, uh, or is there a no, way that way? Go left around the corner. Oh, that's her hair. <laughs> and then there should be a disc on the uh, desk. Taken. Alright. Go to the door and check it out. You can't go in yet, so you go back and go down the stairs you passed earlier. The stairs you P-A-S-T passed earlier. Chris, we're going to make fun of every typo, just because of that statue room. Uh-huh. So these are the stairs right. that lead into the past, so we'll be going back to level four now. Yeah. Don't bother with the lab monsters. The more you kill, the more come back when you get into this hall again. Okay. So I'd assume you just kind of run around them. Go right. into the double door near the bottom of the stairs. All right, so when you get here, go to the end of the hall. Look at 
the doors. There, you saw them. Good for you. You will be coming back to this says, much later. Go back where you came from. The storage room. Actually, I think you're supposed to get passcodes here, so I think it's probably going to be on that little console. Oh, damn it, Chris. He says you're supposed to get them here. Wait. Oh, you're going to use this later. Again, he just wanted us to see something. <laughs> this is so obnoxious. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back out the door. Um, At the double doors? That you got in here and go to the door right. Run back to the door that you got in here with and go, okay, no, it's the door right by the, the door you came in. There yeah, you go. Okay. I hate that he's starting to make sense. Flip the switch next to the door as soon as you get in. Okay. Flipped. Alright. Let's see, there should be an herb. Go ahead and get the herb and read the picture. Because as we know, pictures are there to be read. Yep. Yeah. Go back to the front of the room and see the desk. You'll read the researcher's letter. Okay, so those are just giving you passwords. I gotcha. Is that Hebrew? I'm not the person I ask. Alright. So then you want to push the bookshelf out of the way. Of course, I say that now and then everything will fuck up. Alright, flip the blue switch and the room will turn to a blue shade. Now go back to the picture and read it again. <laughs> now you can compare the secret code on the researcher's letter and the picture translation from the blue switch. I won't tell you yet, so you can, can you figure it out? If you can, then you are a smart player. If you can't, then you are not too bright, I guess. If you don't care, then ignore this and move on. Oh, fuck you, Chris. Oh, man, he's getting, he's getting arrogant. Yeah, whatever, I guess we're not too bright. We're leaving now, I suppose. All right, yeah, now to move on, go out the door that you came in with. You came in with the door? All right. Turn to her right and go back out the door that you came in with. He says that again twice. He says, go out the door that you came in with and then go out the door that you came in with. Well, Benjamin, as you know, this is a very special fax. <laughs> okay, I came out the door that I came in with and we're back. Right okay. Now. When you get in here, you should just kill the lab monsters when they get in your way. He said not to kill them in the... Right, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I knew he would contradict himself. He, you see how not plus time. So you want to go straight down the hall and go straight until you see a double door on her, on her left before you turn the corner. Oh, shit. Where am I? Was there a double door before you turned the corner? Well, that's the one that we just had uh, come out of, right? Hmm. Oh, maybe it's down this hall. Yep. 
Oh, there's two of them. I'm guessing he wants us to okay. go into the first one that we come across. Go into the one on the left. Alright. It's locked. Okay, then. Then we didn't come in the right way. Power oh. room, and it is tightly locked. And here's mm. another one all the way. I'm not sure where we really are. See if you're bleeding or not. I guess so. Anyways, we want to find the computer room. There's a computer in here. Is that what okay, makes maybe we looked our way there. What's that? Maybe we lucked our way there. Yeah, maybe so. Go to the computer and log in. When it says log in, you want to type John. The umbrella logo, one of the five things that they actually retained in the movie version. <laughs> so is it John with an H or John without an H? With an H. You know, I just saw it, you'd think I'd know. It's literally the John and Ada that she repeated. <laughs> what we're going to be using here. All right, password is ADA. Yeah, that's what I figured. When it says select floor, click on B2. It's a very weak password. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe Chris was the technician. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, if he was, he would have misspelled it. Well, also, it still would have had the screen name Chris M three one seven. Well, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see All where right. Chris learned his grammar from. Did you do the select floor click on B two? Yeah. Okay. When it says password. Type in mole, M-O-L-E. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to select B3. Or when it says select floor, click on B3. All right, after that, click on cancel. When it says quit, click on yes. All right. Like and you were logged on. Simon on the ground or something. <laughs> When you are logged off, go more into the room. Uh, okay. <laughs> you will run into something on the floor. Dare I ask if I pick it up? Yes. Okay. Go uh, out of the room. You will not have any business in this room anymore. <laughs> well, guess what? Ah. Looks like we'll be wasting to. an herb, or we'll be wasting a lot of time. Either way, we're and wasting we, something. we followed his instructions. Chris, you're the worst. I think maybe he thought that you would, like, totally fuck up the yeah. battle with the monsters by now and need to, like, heal yourself five times, because he did. <sighs> Go ahead and just use the one single herb. I can't. It says I don't need to. So guess what we have to do? We have to literally get hurt. Either that or walk all the way back to storage. At least we know we got a hallway full of monsters. You know what? I am going to email this guy. Where's your fucking 21st update, asshole? <laughs> walk up to the zombie, get munched on, walk right back. <laughs> All 
words. If you have at least one space in inventory, then I'm gonna continue. fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Come on, serious? Well, he wanted you to pick up ink ribbons. So if you if you have space, a h v e space. <laughs> if you have space. And when, yeah, this this was his like Madonna period where he started talking British. Yeah. No, he's sending you off on a side quest to get ink ribbons. You don't need them. I don't need if you if you don't, things. yeah. Oh, he says in order to get a space, walk up to the lab monster and get bitten. So hey, uh, all right. So go down. Oh, hang on. It's it's so hard to find my way back. Just keep going down the halls. Uh, go straight in front and go down the hall, go past, go past P-A-S-S-E-D, the room, with the power symbol in front of it. I love how he uses one version of past incorrectly before, and then he uses the other version of past incorrectly. Now, you know what? Chris can eat a dick for a second. I'm going back to storage. I'm offloading some of this shit. Uh, Alright. If I can remember where it is. Was it this way? Was it up the stairs? Was it in the double door? It was up the stairs. It was up the stairs. It was up. Yeah. Because posable life-drawing figures are the bane of reality. All they want to do is eat and consume. That's why they challenge you artists to sit there and feed them your imagination. Also, mid 90s polygons. We do not need four health things. You know, you say that. <laughs> you are going to need the ammo disc. That's coming up there. Okay, I've got the ammo disc. I've got the slides. I've got two health. I've got a shotgun and shells. I think we're good. So, do you remember where the door was that we were? Oops. Wait. Is it down? Yeah, downstairs. Yeah. Actually, technically, you did unlock this door, but we just aren't ready for it yet. <laughs> so, just try to work your way back to where you just came from. Just sad mode. All right, so don't don't go back in. But is that the door that we were just in? I believe so. Yes. Don't don't no no don't go around the corner. Don't go around the corner. Go back to the door. Okay, so what he says is... Can't wait to hear this. Oh, fuck it. This was just that ink ribbon thing. Okay, uh, there was that hole in the wall that I noticed. It's just an ink ribbon in there. Um, go down the hall until you see the double door near the stairs. Go in it again and go down the hall. Oh, so we've just made a circle. Oh, okay. Go in it go again. In it go again. Down the hall. Go into the door that you opened with the computer. Oh. You will see it on her right side. So I'm assuming it's that one door right there. It looks like it's kind of painted into the wall. Yeah, it's like those windows. Right. Oh, that's nice. 
If you so happen as to run out of ammo. Run out of the door, okay. Hang on, no. I don't like when you say no. I don't know where the fuck he's going with this. Alright. Okay, kill the monsters till they are gone. When they are gone, get the facts that is in the hole in the wall that you can't miss. He went on this whole side trail of if you run out of ammo, here's a whole thing you can do. Oh, God. <laughs> of course he did. And it's literally just a detailed route of going back to the storage room. It's like you couldn't just say, go back to the storage room. All right. Read it. It is interesting and is and is what Resident Evil is all about. <laughs> all right. When you're done with it, go around the bookcase to the desk. That's what we should title Chris's fact. What Resident Evil is all about. <laughs> In fairness, yes. Alright, check out the desk. When it asks you, use the MO disk in the machine on the desk. I love how she says, if I had an ammo desk. I know, just to, just to scare you into thinking that you might have left it in the storage box. Genesis 2226. And That's our password. I have something, says the Lord. I can't believe I can actually read this. I'm actually going to write that down because he didn't write it down. <laughs> okay. Oh, I never have mind. Been. didn't have to do that. It's not even saying the same thing. So then you want to find the girl bikini pet poster that is hanging above some crates. Uh, so what, yes, what, Igor, what that is Baywatch. Like? I, don't, I don't think I saw that, Chris. Where is it? Is it over here? I didn't see it at all, Chris. I need you to, I need you to describe it to me, Chris. I need your guidance, Chris. Where is it? Where could it be? Alright, what am I doing? The image of the plunging cleavage that is heaved. Was that you or I'm was that Chris? To, I'm, I'm trying to channel his voice. Oh, okay. See, I don't even know anymore. Okay, and he literally says, it should say Excite 1998 on the poster. How's that spelled, Chris? <laughs> he spells it correctly. Um, with the exclamation point, is it all in capitals? I expect the best out of you, Chris. I love this. If you click her in parentheses, you aren't actually clicking the poster. <laughs> You're technically getting them from the crates below the poster. I love how you had to specify that. Right. Oh. So I got my ink ribbons. Okay. All right. Go back out the door. Turn right and go to the passcode puncher, and she will punch in the passcode. So I guess I didn't even need to write it down. We'll see. We'll see. Pretty soon. Though Chris doesn't get to say that we aren't sharp. We thought ahead. I don't want to know what the Resident Evil version of barbed wire is because then Chris would have to write something about it. And I assume we're going to be going in. Oh. Run back down the hall. Uh, I knew it. And go into the double I knew door. It. You came. Some, somehow I fucking knew it. What, the double doors? Yeah. Turn left and go up the stairs. I think what we did was we just saved game Chris's life for his game for his stage of the game. Okay. 
Because apparently we unlocked the door that he needed unlocked. Alright, so take that corner hall. Done. We've got some double doors, we got a desk in the back. So you wanna unlock you wanna go in the doors. Uh sure we don't go just to wanna check them out and then keep on going somewhere else, back where we came from. So there's a <laughs> there's a projector on the desk. Use the slides. This is where we're going to see B Barry's Hawaiian vacation trip. Okay. Look at the slides with the people. Doesn't that face all the way to the right look familiar? Oh, he, he goes well, to all of them. Does. These are where I got the names for certain animals. Did you know Cerberus was a dog owned by a Greek god? You learned something new. <laughs> oh, is this another lecture? Is this one of his uh, yes. capital L lectures? He didn't he didn't label it such, but he should have. Look at the shark. You remember it from the basement in the guardhouse. You remember those annoying hunters. You notice one creature called the tyrant. Beware. <laughs> So yes, in the pictures, Gosh, the two gee, the could that right look person like with the cardboard cutouts photoshopped in? Could the dude with the shades be Wesker? I don't know. Prove me wrong. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Ellipses. Okay. All right. When you're finished, go to the left side of your screen. <clears throat> that box thing. He literally says, "Go to that box-looking thing." So push the button. Oh, it's a. There's no button. It's a, a panel. It's asking if we want to open it. Unless he's talking about push the button on your controller, which is a little on the nose. <laughs> push the button and go to the wall that was. I, I don't understand. He just says push the button Whatever. and go to the wall that was pushed and get the lab key. Uh, once again, he's getting ahead of himself. That's why. Oh, there we. Go. Yeah, push the button. I hope that wasn't a major support pillar. Right. Oh no, lab collapse, we're all dead. Game over! Yeah, it's a very gun looking key. Yeah, <laughs> like a little it was like a clip or something at first. Thanks to a fan of mine, I heard that there is a security document on a bookshelf in the room that states Wesker is on the R&D team as well as some other procedures. No matter where I look, I did not see it. You think that he thinks that anybody who emails him is a fan? <laughs> so I'm guessing there's something on the bookcase back there, but yeah. yeah. Eddie, well, we know, we know other people who think that everyone beneath them is a fan, too. And yeah, we certainly do. <laughs> So look, we, we just instantly found the report that he could never find. Chris, we have for you more than enough content to warrant a 21st update. Are you watching this, Chris? We have it all laid out in detail. You just need to take notes. All right. After that, go out the door and go down the stairs. Just Whenever keeps you're going. Yeah. Good book. Unexpected day anymore. Protagonist could have used some more fleshing out. Okay, going out the door. What now? We need a better narrator. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. I left the door now. Uh, go down the stairs. When you get back in here, go around the hall again, and you should come up to a door with a power symbol on it. I mean, the 
it's not really on it. It's on the floor in front of the door. Yeah. Well, you can at least try it. Use the lab key. <laughs> You've used this once. It's useless now. Sure. All right. Go into the door if you have already gotten the ink ribbons. If you got, he really wants us to just keep... This is the third time he's told us to, if you need them, go get these same ink ribbons that are in that one spot. <laughs> I've already got ink ribbons, though. I think we should just not get these ink ribbons to spite Chris. I'm all about that. All right, so go in there. Killed the zombie. Go dead ahead and into the door straight from the hall you came in from. Speaking of, dead ahead. <laughs> is, uh, somebody's got jokes now. <laughs> that was me. Oh, that was yours? That was not... Okay. Yeah. Somehow that makes it funnier. Okay, so we're going to <laughs> I love how we're door. getting to the point now where you just can't quite tell what's uh, me and yeah. what's not. Reality's blurring with Chris's reality. I've, I've, I've had Chris be a part of my... A part of this process so much that I'm, I'm it's, it's like an actor who plays a part so long <laughs> that he can no longer separate himself. All right. You get in here, go to the shelf and get the flame rounds. If you will look next to the bed, you will see a green herb. Though I'm betting we needed to mix that with the yeah. other green herb that we used. All right. Herbis, herbis, herbis. So there should be a box. Yeah. We are in a storage room. Yes, we are. Don't you hear the music? Don't you hear Chris's favorite music? Don't you hear the music that he bumps in his... Oh God, Actually, no, I, 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 I can hear sound effects from the game, but I can't hear any music at all. Oh, okay. Well, Chris would be very disappointed. All right. So go into the box, use the ink ribbon to save, take out the other MO disc, and otherwise don't really change anything else. Yep. I always go the wrong way. There it is. Yes, Good for you, sick. Igor. I'm the only one who's musically deprived. But it's weird because I can literally hear all the other sound effects clearly, it's just that. Well, I think because the music comes through when we're not talking uh, on the stream, mm -hmm. but since you have the stream muted, all you're getting is what's coming through the microphone on my end. That's true. That's true. And I've saved as many times as I've let it go, that's great for us. We know how to scum some. Go ahead and put the ribbons up. All right, shotgun stuff. Stuff. So you want to head back? Okay, well, I'll wait. Oh no, I'm done. I'm ready. As soon as you head out, you want to kind of head back into that little hole that you just came in from. Oh, now I hear some music. Very faint. Yeah. All right, now keep keep going into that little entry hallway. And I'm guessing we're going into these doors that I'm facing. Yes, go into the double doors on her right. Oh, we shouldn't have put away the herb because here's a red one. We can mix with it. <laughs> da -da 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 I'll just take it. It's going to take up one inventory space anyway. And I've got yeah. full healing items. Two of them. So there's going to be uh, oh, there's shells. Gonna be shells. Yep. Already ahead of me. All right. Your goal is to move the stool to the body disposing vent without it pushing the button and letting the gas out, which will harm you. Here is what you do. First, you go around the operating table. Oh my god, he's going to hold up. He's going to give us walking directions, isn't he? This is going to be precious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. 
Hang on. All right. Let me gather myself. All right. First, you go around the operating table Done. and push that crate farthest away from the door over the vent. All right. So far, we're lucid. So these crates have slats in them. How does that keep gas coming through? <laughs> we can literally see through the polygons of the slats. All right. All right, then see the stool. Push it away from the door towards the wall, but with enough space to push it back later. So just kind of shove it over like parallel to that one crate that we just pushed. Yeah, I think I get what he's saying. All right. Then go around the crate and push it towards the monitor, or whatever that thing is. Stop when it is close, but not touching the thing. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Okay. I think you just gotta put, then keep pushing it all the way. Well, he said he doesn't need want to touching the, the thing. Side. You can always just push it back if you have to. It's not wedged in there. Yeah. All right, now what? You, you want to try to figure out how to cover the other vent. <laughs> oh, is that is that really what he's saying? No more magical adventures with the English language with Chris here? Then push the crate over the other vent. <laughs> That's it. I assume it's talking about the circular vent over there. You know, you can always just shove the stool kind of out of the way a little bit, then kind of yeah, push I'm the gonna, crate down. I'm going to go ahead and go off the script here. Yeah, push it down towards the end of the table so you can push it forward a bit. Pushing that across the floor have like this ratcheting sound. <laughs> that is fucked up. Yeah, I think you might want to push it the other way. Yeah. I'd actually push the stool up towards where the monitors are. the crate isn't like noisier than the stool it's like barely anything no. so this is going to be this level's version of inventory control of just circling these things around <laughs> until they're in the right yeah. spot there's a, there's just a puzzle similar to this well not really that similar but involved block pushing it's making me think of it from Zork 3 imagine doing this where you've got maze walls it's all in text. Oh. Resident Evil the text adventure. That would be interesting. <laughs> Especially as written by Chris. Don't give the universe any ideas. I will give the universe any idea that I would actually like to partake in. This is like super lame low low. actually work. Oh, it's letting me do it. Awesome. Now will the stool fit? Yeah. Where can I push the stool from this end? It should, because that's pretty much what I just did with the crates. Yep. Minutes of excitement. <laughs> This needs cooler music, Chris. Fun for the whole kids. Well, how about Oompa Loompa? Why don't we just put that in? That's what Chris would do. 
right, I forgot about that. All right. Thanks for the Back help, Chris. The All right, go to the stool in the front, push it towards you, blah, 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 blah. If it doesn't fit or gas comes out from a vent, you messed up. Go up the stool and into the vent. Oh, we don't get a graphic of just the vent coming towards you. You're right. No, we sure didn't. All right. So when you get in here, go onto the shelf behind her and get the magnum rounds. The shiny magnum. Go to the back of the room and use the MO disk to get the next password. God, how did that one song go, Willy Wonka? We have no worldly way of knowing just oh. where this thing is going. <laughs> on the graphic does not match the text on the text. I wonder if there's something thematic about the fact that all of these are from Genesis. Okay, Probably it's because on. most things made in Japan don't actually know what Bible things are. <laughs> Alright, leave the room and go out the door to her right from the vent you came in with. <laughs> you mean the only fucking door in the room? Yes. Come on, Chris. Turn left and go into that door with the power symbol. I mean, that's sloppy even for him. Yeah. Didn't we just come from the door with the power symbol? I thought we no. had, yeah. No, 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 that's right. This is that hallway. Oh, okay. All right. So then you want to just go straight ahead again. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. All right. When you're right back, okay, it's a storage area. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying, now take the Magnum and put the bazooka away. Does he really think we were using the bazooka this entire time? <laughs> well, of course we weren't, because he didn't tell us to. Alright. So anyways, we're swapping the uh, shotgun for the for the Colt, but I'll let you take care of that first. Yeah. Alright. And he says take four healings and the last MO disc. If you don't have any more MO discs, you messed up the game. Oh shit. Bad feeling here. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, I didn't the, remember uh, oh, collecting three of these. Oh, thank God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 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 It's, it's bad oh. enough following the the guide when you know where you're at. Imagine when he then tells you, that. if you didn't pull this off, you fucked up. <laughs> I just love how aggressive he gets at times. Oh, what a jerk. All right, and then he's literally detailing, if you missed one, here's where all three of them were. If you haven't got them all and want to save Chris. <laughs> so apparently if we don't get them all, we don't save Chris. I, I feel there's something meta going on here. <laughs> he says, go go back to the place and get them if you can care less. Oh, wow. Okay, so four healing, wow. really? We're, we're really going to trust him again to just go yeah, into this with one open inventory spot? Well, we are going to have some monsters coming up. 
I mean, we are playing on easy. I know. All right. We're let me get out the door. We're just going with three. Okay. <laughs> if you can care less. <laughs> if you can care less. Well, I, I can. Watch me. <laughs> All right. All right. When you get out the door, turn turn to her left. Following that floor marking towards the power house. Look at the door. Now go back. Go into that door. Yeah, something's coming after me. Uh, yeah. Yep. Maybe I'm not. Apparently, you actually have to aim your gun up. There you go. Who was it that scoffed at bringing extra healing? <laughs> Hold up, this is pretty much it. Are those are maggots or something that's coming out of them? Yeah. Alright, what's going on? Alright, uh, turn right from the door you came in, you just did that. Take the next left corner. Keep going until you see a power panel. Go back towards the door, but then go past it and, and go back towards the door and past it a little bit and turn to her right and go down the hall just across the door you came in. Okay? Just keep going until you find another single door. I'm hoping wait, what's it? Is that it there on your left? I don't know, but I'm going in it. Alright. Hello, Jessica. Alright. <clears throat> you go him, go dead ahead to the from the door down the hall. You'll come, come across the password machine, yeah. Hold up dealing with uh, something. You should now have all three passcodes. If you don't, look up how to get them. <laughs> <laughs> On another walkthrough, preferably. Uh, and three for three on the graphic <laughs> Another Another Genesis, yeah. Alright. Go back towards the door and down the hall to her left. Go down it all the way, turn the corner, and turn the other corner. So you get to a door. Go in. You are lucky you are in beginner mode, parentheses, if you are. Because there are, is no power room creatures. <laughs> Run around the square hall till you find the machine with the power to the elevator. Turn it on. Power to the elevator? Is that the Well, it's either that or something with the power of the bank. Quite big. Um, turn 
it on, that's all you need to so then backtrack away. Maybe I can just miss it on the last here. What's that on the wall? No, 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 back. Go back around the corner. Remember, there's a delay, so come back. Sorry about this. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. No, no, keep going around the corner. Right. But no, it doesn't say to find a computer, it says to find the machine to turn something on. So what's that caution there with the fork right? There's something more. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, here we yeah, go down the end. And it turns another little yellow thing. There we go. Took a lot longer than this. We've, we've taken longer. <laughs> yep, yeah, just too much longer. Alright, so. so Alright, so we just head back out, go down the hall, and come to her left. Wait, so we're not using it. <laughs> yeah, we just need to turn on the other. Okay, now maybe I can actually hear more than words at a time from me. Alright, so... Go down... Excuse me, go down the hall and turn to our left, away from the storage room. Oh, no, yeah, no, we're just supposed to backtrack through all of this crap, so... Just keep going until we get to the front hallway. Is it this one? I believe so. Yeah, no, no, go back. You just went past a couple times. So now that back in the power hallway. All right, go down the hall and turn to her left away from the storage room. If we must. Unless you want to save in the storage room, because we have been going for about an hour 15. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Pick it up uh, another time. This was the storage room, correct? Yes, yeah. I think we, we made a lot of progress that covered very little ground. This is literally a section where we just kind of keep going around and around the same area. I believe that boiler noise that we heard was Stephen King's The Mangler. Which you can listen to at uh, Castle Rock Companion at sealingscorner.blogspot.com <laughs> I like that you say that when the uh, typewriter is completely muting. That's what you're saying. Okay, so uh, we're calling it a stream then? Yeah, I think we're going to call it a stream. Yeah, I agree. I've had about as much of uh, Chris as I can take for right now. Chris's walkthrough. We got our weekly hour out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, 
God bless you, Chris.